and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up the Wave SDK and use the Wave SDK Tilly wrapper so we can use Wave devices with our VRTK packages. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Again, we're in our scene where we set up our Oculus integration camera rig and our Pico integration camera rig. And this time we're going to implement the Wave camera rig. The Wave supports devices such as the HTC Focus Plus, Focus 3 and the new XR Elite. And also please note that this project is still in the downgraded project of Unity 2021.3. And this is because the Wave SDK also seems to have issues in Unity 2022.2. Again, this may change in the future, but at the time we're recording this video, it doesn't seem to work. So the way HTC deploy their packages is via the Unity Package Manager. And all we need to do to import their packages is to add the Vive scoped registry to our project. So let's do that now. If we go to Edit and then Project Settings, and then if we select Package Manager, we can see the one that's already here that is doing our Tilia packages. We need to add another one. So we click Plus. And now we just need to type in the information for the Vive scoped registry. So the name is Vive, all uppercase. The URL is https colon forward slash forward slash npm hyphen registry dot vive dot com. And the scope is com dot htc dot upm. And then all we need to do is click save to add that new scoped registry to our project. The details for this, if you're interested, are on the Vive developers website at developer.vive.com. We can see here, this is how it explains to install their scoped registry. And then it will go on to tell us how we actually add their packages via the package manager. We can close down our project settings window now. And if we now go and look in our package manager by going to window and then package manager, if we change packages in project to packages, my registries, we can see the HTC corporation now has all of the packages that HTC offer. We don't actually need to install these manually because the Tilia SDK wrapper for the Wave SDK will automatically include the relevant plugins it needs. So we can just close the package manager window down. So now let's go and get the Tilia Wave SDK wrapper by going to window, add to Tilia, and then package importer. And then if we look down our list, we'll have SDK Wave XR, and that's what we need to add. So we're just going to click add. And when that is finished adding, it will add in all of the relevant Wave SDKs that we need. And if we go and look in our assets directory, it will also add in this wave folder as well. So we can close the package importer down now. So let's just click close on that. Now, the next thing we need to do is add the camera rig for our wave XR. And as always, we do that by right clicking on our hierarchy, going down to Tilia, then to prefabs, then to camera rigs. And now we'll have a camera rigs .wave XR. So let's select that. And we can see our camera rigs wave XR, if we expand it, has set up with a wave rig already. So it's already using the Wave rig that comes with the Wave SDK. By default, again, it doesn't come with any controller representations, but we will add those in as well by just expanding Wave rig, expanding camera offset, and then we've got our left controller and our right controller, which just tracks where our left controller and our right controller are. But if we select our left controller, we can then go and get the prefab for the controller visualizations. So if we go down into our assets Wave directory, and then go into essence and then into controller and then model and then the latest version and then if we look in prefabs we can see again we've got a wave left controller and a wave right controller prefab and all we need to do is grab drag and drop wave left controller into our left controller game object and grab drag and drop the right controller into our right controller and we shouldn't need to set anything else up on those now that should all be fine so we can collapse our wave camera rig down and then finally, all we need to do again is tell our tracked alias of our new camera rig. So in the tracked alias, select that, add another element, and then grab, drag and drop our Wave XR into that new element. And because we only want to build for Wave XR, we're going to turn off Pico integration. But the Wave XR camera rig is the only one in the scene. And there we go. We've now set up the scene to use the Wave XR SDK and all the Wave camera rig and controller visualizations for Wave devices. We again don't need to change anything because once we've hooked into that tracked alias, everything that we've set up already will still work. And I hope this has given a better understanding of how these SDK wrappers work with Tilia. So if there's another SDK out there that isn't already supported, it's relatively straightforward to just wrap that SDK and then you can just drop it straight into the tracked alias and it will work with everything else that VRTK has to offer. So now all we need to do is go through the build process. 
But before we do that, let's just go and check our project settings. So go to project settings. And then now if we go down to the XR plugin management, we should have one for Wave XR. We're going to untick Pico and we're going to make sure Wave XR is ticked and that will install any additional loaders that are required. And make sure we're in the Android tab as well. And then if we needed to change any settings for the Wave XR, we could just go into the Wave XR sub settings menu and all the settings are there to tweak as required. But we don't need to change any of those for now. So what we're going to do is just go into player and just make sure everything's set up. So company name, product name and version are all correct. And if we scroll down, the one thing that we need to do here is untick auto graphics API. And because the Wave SDK doesn't support Vulkan at the moment, we need to make sure that is lower than OpenGL ES3. This will still work on Pico and Oculus, but Vulkan is the better choice for those two headsets. However, if you want something that works across all three that you don't need to keep changing the settings, just go with OpenGL ES3. Vulkan will probably be supported on the Wave SDK in the future, but at the time of recording this video, it doesn't work. So let's scroll down a little bit more and see what else we need to set up. The minimum API level at 10 is fine, and the target API level at automatic again is fine. Scripting backend can be IL2 CPP. And again, we just need to make sure the target architecture is ARM64 is ticked and ARM v7 is unticked. So all the settings look fine. We can close that down and then we just need to go to our build menu. So file and then build settings. And then in the build settings menu, as before, if we've got our device already plugged in, we can look at the run device list and we can select our device from the list. And then we don't need to just do build and then push it via something like SideQuest. We can just do build and run and it will automatically push to the headset. So we're going to click build and run and now I just need to give this a name so I'm going to call it wave test and then click save and again because we need to make sure we've saved any changes just make sure you click save here and then the build process will start and after it's finished building it will automatically play on the headset and now we're in the build it's running on the headset and as we can see we've got our visualizations of our XR controllers for the wave device and everything still works as before we can look around our interactors still work we can pick the pig up and throw it around. And there we go, we've set up another SDK, this time for the Wave SDK, and it works within our tracked alias. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Please leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below, and consider becoming a VRTK patron. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.